Tornado sirens are sometimes the only warning that people get before a storm hits, and they're meant to warn those outside to get inside and seek shelter. 27 Storm Track meteorologist Blaze Keller tells us why the sirens in Dane County are getting special attention. I'm here at the corner of Rosa Road and Regent Street in Madison, and behind me is one of actually 141 tornado sirens in Dane County. And starting later this year, they're going to get an upgrade that's going to help you stay ahead of that dangerous storm. In a press release on Thursday, County Executive Joe Parisi said $3 million is going to help upgrade the tornado sirens across Dane County. Included in the 2023 county budget, that money set aside will go to buy new equipment as well as upgrade older hardware. This includes a new central control software upgrade since not all the sirens in the county are government owned. Though each siren has to be upgraded individually, there will be no issue should severe weather move through Dane County during the upgrade process. In the meantime, the system still works fine. We, you know, we're not waiting for, for, for parts to break mm. before we replace them. We're trying, we're, you know, getting out in front of it, just like routine maintenance on your auto or your home. This is something we don't want to let slide. In addition to using tornado sirens as a tool to stay ahead of severe weather, you can also download the 27 Storm Track weather app where severe weather alerts will be sent directly to your phone. Additionally, a NOAA radio will help as well. In Madison, for 27 News, I'm meteorologist Blaze Keller.